So um, yeah, today I just want to kind of kick this off. You know, we're going to do this every Wednesday and, and attract more people. We want to create a community where um, we can get to know other business owners, right? And um, bring problems, bring solutions, bring ideas, uh, bring collaborations, right? Um, Chris, you're a roofer and, and uh, hopefully through this event, you know, hopefully doing this a weekend and week out, you know, we possibly can meet other roofers who are um, you know, got some tips or tricks that can help you in your profession. Same with Donna, um, same with some of our other uh, business owners. Um, I just yeah. wanted to uh, go over a story that I heard from, um, Donna says it's loud in here. Well, I guess you, I should look at the chat. I'm actually up in Atlanta. They're much warmer down in Miami. Okay. Um, all right. I get it. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to kind of uh, go over a uh, I, uh, Karen and Travis and Andy were with me and we were in uh, Florida, right? A couple months ago, right guys? And we heard Tim Tebow speak and man, it was like so powerful. Like I still think of the story every day of how um, positive, positive and encouraging um, can really change somebody's life. Um, so with that, you know, this is exactly what we want to do here. We want to come on here and encourage everybody and, and, and be positive. Uh, but this story, uh, Chris, you probably didn't hear it. And Donna, you probably didn't hear it, but, um, I'll tell the story. And um, Tim Tebow, he, he met this lady who um, was a teacher at a school and a, a student came up to her. And this was kind of her favorite student. She's always rooting for this kid and always telling him, you know, you, you can do good in life and you, know, you can get your grades up and you can succeed. And But he was failing. He was failing at everything. He was failing um, all of his classes. It was the senior year. And um, you know, he, he came up to the teacher and says, you know what, I'm failing everything. I'm just going to quit. I'm literally quitting school and I'm quitting life. Like I'm going to end my life. I'm done. And the teacher says, oh no, you won't. You're going to, you're going to succeed. And he's like, uh, I'm just too dumb for this. Right. So the teacher said, I want you to take the SAT. So take the SAT. And then if you don't pass it, or if you don't do well, then you can quit school. Um, she says, but you're not quitting on me. So uh, a couple of weeks goes by and the kid takes the SAT and I don't know what the high score on the SAT is like 1400, right? So I think he got like 1250 or 1300. He like got an amazing score. So he ran, ran, parents, look, look, I, you know, I got 1300 or 1350. Like I'm amazing. His parents are like, yeah, right. You cheated. He's like, I didn't cheat. I'm, I'm smart. My teacher believed in me and I'm smart. So he went and told his teacher, like, look, like I literally got a 1350 or whatever on this SAT. And she's like, I knew it. You're a genius. She's like, let's come up with a plan. And we're going to get you to graduate. We'll get you into a good college. Um, and, and your life's going to be amazing. So he got excited, right? So he, he did the plan with the teacher. He graduated high school. He actually got into a good college. And while this kid was in college, he started a business. And starting the business, he um, while he was in college, then he got out of college, he started another business. And he actually won Entrepreneur of the Year. Um, so a couple of years have gone by, uh, Entrepreneur of the Year, an amazing business. He's married, has a wife and kids and a big house. And he gets a letter in the mail from the SAT and he reads it and it says, we messed up on your score. You actually scored like a 600 and you failed. <laughs> oh, wow. So think about that. Imagine if he had failed, that one little letter would have told him in his head, like, quit, be done. You're not worth it, right? But it was the positive and the encouraging of the teacher and the belief in himself, right? So, isn't that amazing? That story just blows me away. There's a lot of truth in that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I know, like, I mean, it's easy to get down on employees or, you know, people around you. It's easy to complain about the stuff that doesn't go right, right? Like, you can get in a red light, but everybody gets red lights, right? So, um, you know, let's be positive. Let's encourage each other, right? Let's let's be cheerleaders for each other. I know when somebody encourages me and is like, man, I believe in you, Dave. I'm like, oh, yeah, I want to go show them how awesome I am. On the contrary, if somebody's like, ooh, you suck. And I'm like, oh, yeah, maybe <laughs> I shouldn't do this, right? Isn't that what comes into your head? I mean, at least, yeah. you yeah. know, like, I mean, I know sales, a lot of sales is relationships, right? Like, we have something in common, you know, getting to know each other, Um I know when you meet somebody and they seem like a used car salesman, I'm like, oh, not buying from this guy, right? But somebody like you coming out and educating me and showing me why and, and what I need and, and how you guys do it, I'd be like, oh, wow, this guy knows what he's talking about. Yeah, I'd like to hire a bunch of old dudes that have been doing it for a long time and just let them go out and sell. That, that would be 
Yeah, I know I, in my window cleaning businesses, I love hiring the old guys because I, I know I'm not going to have any problems with them. You know, yeah. you hear a funny story. We got a Costa Rican that lives with us and uh, he's a exchange student, and plays basketball. And uh, Angela, you love this story because he was sick and we we're getting him IVs to get him hydrated and feeling better. And uh, the lady came over to give him IVs and, and uh, I'm like, it's going to make you feel like Superman. He's like, who? I mean, you know, Superman. You want to feel like Superman. These IVs are going to really help you. He's like, Superman. I go, you want to feel like LeBron James? He's like, oh yeah, LeBron, LeBron. Like, All right, get an IV. You'll feel like LeBron. I'm That's like, great. man, That's he doesn't great. know who Superman is. What's wrong with him? Uh, yeah, I know next week on this show, we're going to talk about goal setting since it's a new year, right? Um, so keep that in mind. We don't have to go over goals now, but um, you want your goals to be, first of all, I like, I don't know about you guys, but I like my goals to be a little bit out of reach or seem a little bit crazy. Um, Cause then I don't feel like I'm really pushing myself. Um, but I also don't like my goals to be like money driven. Like, Hey, I'm going to make X amount of money or revenue this year. Um, I like my goals to be, what can I give back and, and who can I mentor? Um, so let's think about that for next week, right? Like um, mentoring somebody is an, an extraordinary um extraordinary way in life to give back and and like it's amazing because like I've never mentored somebody to feel good about myself but man after I teach somebody something I'm like that's so cool I taught that person and then look at them go you know um what are other goals that we can have that aren't you know monetary or um I mean I guess it would be moving or 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 um it could be um starting your business in another location right or expanding. I mean, that's not necessarily monetary. Um, it will be eventually, but you know, that's a big goal, right? Or maybe acquiring another business. Um, well, working your way out of the trap, like, and people can work from, change their their role in their own business from, you know, on the business, I mean, in the business to on the business. Yep. Could be Chris finding another gray haired salesman or two to replace oh, them, right? That'd be great. <laughs> we had a customer who was in the Fort Myers area, North Fort Myers, and her business was gone, like yeah. completely gone. Um, and just like that seems so, I don't know, it seems so third world to me because in Arizona, you just don't get storms like that. Um, right. That's fantastic that you guys meet them on the ground and you or and talk to them face to face. I know when we go to um, trade shows or conventions, it's really exciting meeting people and Karen and Andy and Travis and I have all traveled and, and we meet people and, and like there's a there's something about an instant connection like talking here on zoom it's great and it's fun but you know when you see people in real life you can see their body language a little better you can yeah. kind of see their heart um and and that's probably what you guys portray that's that's amazing that's fantastic, fantastic. you know really good like business owners they're visionaries they're like we're gonna do yeah. this and we're gonna do that and we're gonna do that and then you need to find people who can actually take action on it I'm a visionary and um, I like having visions and saying, let's go do this. And then I like finding the people to go do it. Um, yes. I know my window cleaning business for years. I'm like, now when I say we're going to do this, I mean, you guys, and like, <laughs> but you know, it's good because then I have the next vision, which creates more jobs and more opportunity. And, you know, for all the guys that are working for us. So when you meet somebody like that, like Eric, um, that's cool. When you meet people like that, he's a visionary. That's great. And one of the things yeah. that we learned in um, persuasive speaking was it's called Monroe's Motivated Sequence. And basically, it's <clears throat> you listen to what their situation is, their, their problem, their need. And then you, I mean, there's, I think there's like five steps to it. And I'm just going to paraphrase. But basically, you point out the problem that they have mentioned to you, and then you introduce your solution, um, which is either your services or a certain product that you use or whatever. And then, you know, at the end, you know, you, you, you close the deal with, you know, we can solve that problem. But if you look that up, it's called Monroe's Motivated Sequence. And yeah, I've heard of that before. You, yeah, you basically reassure them that you heard what their problem was. Yes. And you offer yes. a solution. Well, you offer your yes. condolences and your sympathy and empathy, yes. and then you offer a solution. And now you're yes. kind of working together. Yeah, that's great. That is fantastic. Yes. That's also yes. called the feel felt found method, David, where you said, I understand how you feel. Yes. 
Others have felt that way before, but what we found is that if we do this, then but that 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 that. There you go. Old sales technique. Yeah. There you go. Wow, that's fantastic. Well, thanks so much for sharing. That is uh, that is great to get to know you guys better. Um, I love this because now I know more about all of you guys, about Sandy, Chris, and Donna. Like just not a name or a business like you can feel the heart and the soul behind you guys and your business and what it is you guys are doing. Um, it's really nice. That's exactly why I wanted to do this is so we can get to know each other better. Um, you know, hopefully this group will grow some more right every week and, you know, maybe a year from now, who knows, we'll look back on this and be like, wow, we only had, you know, a few people on the first show, but, um, you know, we want a nice big community where, you know, you guys can all bump elbows and get to know each other. Um, and eventually it will have a, a live show someday and, uh, it'll be a lot of fun where we can all get together in person in real life. Um, it'll be a lot of fun. You know, speaking your goals is one thing, right? If you're going to speak something like we were talking at the beginning of this, if you say, Hey, I'm dumb, you're going to believe you're dumb. But if you believe you can accomplish something or if you say something out loud, you're putting words into action. And the more you say it, you know, you're going to uh, complete your goals, but Writing it down is also important. You can say it all you want, but if you write it down, um, yeah, Angela will we'll send over to you the workbook she created. It's pretty sweet. Um, and then you can stick it on your, your desk or, or wherever it is that you need to look at it and, and come up with your goals. I know a lot of businesses, you know, their goal is like, oh, I want to hit a million dollars, right? And then when, like, I know in my business, when I first hit a million, like, I didn't even notice I got there. Um, and then when I hit my next million, like, I didn't even know I got there either. So, it's kind of funny when you when you set your goals and, and then you're so focused or, you know, the distractions of life or whatever. Um, but yeah, this workbook is going to be really nice. I'd love to go through it with you guys next week. Hi. All right, guys. Well, that's going to wrap up the first show. Um, we're going to have a lot of fun next week. We'll go over some goals. Thanks for spending some time with us, guys. It was great seeing you, Chris and Sandy and Donna. Yeah. And I mean, like over the last, you know, several years, you could do a lot of stuff on your GMB and it made a huge difference. Um, today, you can do all that stuff on your GMB, and it's making a little difference. So we've measured that, and we've noticed that Google's changed our algorithm a little bit and kind of slowed that down. Um, so we're going to be using a lot of YouTube, YouTube videos. Um, if, like, you, your company has any YouTube videos, that's information Travis is going to be getting from you. Um, but we're using YouTube videos with map embeds um, and spreading that across the Internet and then and then geotagging them in the areas that we want to grow your maps listing. So it's it's a little... Um, sounds a little technical and it, it really is, but it's from our measurements and, and the results we've been getting, it's, it's a game changer. So we're really excited about it. Uh, next week's show, we're going to mention goals and setting goals. Um, so we're going to put a worksheet on our, on collaboratepros.com slash live that you can download that and fill it out and bring it in next week. Um, again, I don't know how much you heard, but we're talking about other goals. I mean, you can set monetary goals. That's great. But other goals that you might be able to change the world around you. You know, just being nicer to people or, you know, mentoring somebody or something like that. Something that's going to, you know, make a difference in this world. Um, so, yeah, we're excited about talk, to talk about that next week. Um, thanks, everybody, for joining and uh, have a wonderful night. And we'll see you guys all in a week.